fun. Greetings from the International Labor Organization and its cooperatives unit where we are celebrating our centennial this year. On this occasion, we have been holding a series of interviews with cooperative practitioners, leaders, researchers from around the world. And today we are very happy to uh, have with us uh, Unal Ernek, uh, who is the coordinator of Central Union of Turkish Forestry Cooperatives or Co-op. He's also a member of uh, the Board of Cooperatives Europe. Welcome Unal Bey, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much uh, your invitation, this program. And firstly, uh, I celebrate the ILO Cooperative Unit 100th anniversary of the service. I express my uh, gratitude uh, for uh, your strong uh, uh, support uh, cooperative movement. Really, is, uh, you give uh, uh, strong uh, support to cooperative movement and so that uh, your activities uh, for us are very important. All over the world, cooperators follow uh, your uh, activities and uh, your uh, meetings and your advice too. Thank you so much, Inal Bey. Uh, you are the real cooperators on the ground uh, and we are very happy at the International Labour Organization to have this hundred years of uh, partnership with the cooperative movement for many more hundred years uh, to come. Um, you are an agricultural engineer. You are a journalist, uh, a project manager. You also wear many hats uh, uh, with the cooperative uh, movement. Uh, could you tell us how you first started working with cooperatives in Turkey? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my start working with cooperatives is in the Union of Agriculture Chambers of Turkey. The, the Chambers of Turkey is largest professional organization of farmers in Turkey, where I first, uh, first started uh, working in uh, 1984. During this process, I worked uh, on agriculture, forestry, as well as cooperatives. I have worked on providing technical support to members of the uh, Chamber of the uh, uh, Agriculture who are uh, also a member of the cooperatives. I took part uh, in work carried out uh, in the country on behalf of agriculture chambers related agriculture cooperatives. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have uh, written, uh, written uh, articles on agriculture as well as cooperatives in agriculture magazines and uh, newspapers and participate in many TV programs. I consulted on program related agriculture and cooperatives on Turkish state television. But right now, uh, I don't work for uh, uh, TV programs. And other hand, uh, in Europe, uh, I can uh, explain to my uh, uh, career. Um, then uh, many years ago, there was a European Agriculture Confederation before Copa Cojeca. And mm -hmm. I was a member of the board uh, directors on uh, European uh, Confederation of Agriculture, short name was SEA. Its quarter mm -hmm. then was in Brussels, and where agriculture cooperatives and organization and in Europe uh, are member of this organization. Mm -hmm. uh, later, uh, between 14 uh, to 2004 and 2009, I worked as an expert and team leader in project to develop in capacities of cooperatives and farmers organization, co covering agriculture cooperatives in Turkey. Since uh, 2009, I have been working uh, in the Central uh, Union of the Forestry Cooperative Turkey, ORCOP, where forestry villagers are partner in Turkey. And since uh, 2017, I have been a board member, you know, that the uh, Cooperative uh, Europe, continent organization of International Cooperative Alliance, also behalf of uh, ORCOP, other hand, ORCOP uh, is a member of the ICA, International Agriculture Cooperative Organization, organization ICO, uh, and also my president is Jafar Yüksel, uh, is board member in ICA, ICO. And uh, other hand, uh, I, I conduct, uh, conduct uh, ICO works on uh, behalf of ORCOP. Other hand, I uh, give technical support, fishery cooperatives too. 
and uh, I follow the work sectors organization under umbrella of the ICA, especially social cooperative because uh, I have one disability uh, daughter. Uh, for a reason, it's the social cooperatives is very important. Disability people, disadvantaged people in Turkey. Also, I follow uh, experience in the world and I try to explain everything in Turkey. In, uh, and so that uh, uh, in Turkey, start uh, social cooperatives uh, activities. I give uh, technical support to uh, trade ministry, also agriculture ministry. And also other hand, uh, I help to national cooperative union, uh, also foreign affairs and uh, follow uh, their uh, foreign relationship activities. Uh, uh, but it's uh, like a supporting, not like a professionally help. Hmm. It's okay. Many, many hats, uh, as I said. Uh, you have mentioned ORCOAP, which is the Forestry uh, Cooperative Federation of uh, Turkey. Could you tell us a little bit about ORCOAP? Uh, forestry co-ops are, of course, very important in this environment of how uh, people and the planet uh, can live together uh, in uh, harmony. Uh, so it's, it's a very important uh, sector. Um, Thank you. Firstly, I must explain is the uh, civil society organization and cooperative organization, professional workers, we must uh, work uh, and we must learn too much things because uh, is uh, the civil society professional people, the cooperative professional people must learn because uh, we help to people, we must believe, we must to help all kinds of subjects because we don't have enough money enough uh, financial support for that reason, all professional must learn everything, uh, must work all subjects. And so that I uh, have seen, uh, I have uh, many had. Uh, and uh, right now I like to explain to ORCOP, uh, a Central Union of the Forestry Cooperative of Turkey describe itself as a organizing force of forestry villager. ORCOP is a true democratic popular movement born out of years of struggle as a result of the sacrifice uh, of thousands of the forestry villagers. Orkop was uh, founded in 1997, uh, 1997 and uh, it seemed like an agricultural cooperative, but its characteristic, characteristics is a labor cooperative and uh, you don't see any uh, part of in the world because in Turkey, uh, all forests belong to government side and all cooperatives work in name of the government. And so that mm. other part of the uh, side of countries and, and uh, also uh, they have a private uh, forest, for example, for a reason in Turkey experience different than others mm. and seem like a worker cost. Uh, and uh, th there are uh, 28 regional union Three, uh, uh, 3,000 primary cooperatives uh, 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 under uh, ORCOP. Uh, and uh, 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 ORCOP across the country uh, have about 300,000 forestry villagers is their uh, ORCOP's cooperatives uh, partner. And all Pharaoh's uh, forest, I told, uh, is belong to government. Forestry cooperatives undertake the forestry affairs of state and uh, cooperatives do these jobs with forestry villagers who uh, also the villagers is their partner. They work uh, name of cooperative and uh, cooperative uh, pay money and other hand uh, make marketing some part of uh, uh, non uh, wood uh, uh, products and wood products. And cooperatives uh, uh, protect and defend the social and economic interest of their partners. Cooperatives find job because uh, I must say that uh, is forestry uh, side, life is very difficult, uh, an employment problem, and uh, there are many social problems because uh, not on Turkey, uh, many part of the, in the world as uh, they have similar problem in the forestry side. And um, uh, uh, forestry cooperatives find job their uh, partners, help them in the production, marketing of plant production, livestock and non-wood products. Because, you know, 
uh, is forestry villagers. At the same time, they have uh, agriculture production, but it's not too much. And uh, uh, forestry work is not all season. And uh, season seems like a, a three months, four months, depend of the uh, uh, country's uh, climate situation. And uh, they need uh, agricultural production. And uh, is uh, all cooperatives, uh, uh, they help uh, their uh, marketing problems. And um, uh, cooperatives organize uh, training problems, uh, tra training programs, and train their partners in agriculture production especially forestry uh, and uh, uh, because uh, education and training is very important uh, or forestry side also cooperative mm -hmm. side too and uh, uh, all cooperatives uh, give professional uh, uh, program uh, training program and other hand is cooperative uh, training program too and mm -hmm. um, all members uh, 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 far to uh, city side and so that this countryside life is little bit difficult and so that cooperative uh, gives some uh, give them sometimes is uh, insurance uh, support because in Turkey mm -hmm. usually countryside uh, not on Turkey all over the world countryside forestry villager have many uh, health problem and uh, transport problem and cooperatives uh, help to members uh, give uh, uh, insurance support health support and, and others, uh, other insurance uh, support. Uh, for example, in the forestry side, when they work in the forest, sometimes uh, their uh, tractors, their cars, or whatever, uh, their houses have problem. And so that uh, cooperatives support them, give uh, uh, some uh, uh, money, but don't get back. And so that uh, it's very big advantage, uh, like Turkey and other countries, this uh, uh, practice. And uh, its main uh, is a subject I can explain, occupational uh, certification, because you know, all over the world right now is t uh, take care of the uh, standards and worker, uh, worker rights. Uh, and uh, because you know, uh, uh, child labor's problems, woman labor's problems, and uh, or uh, 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 cooperatives uh, is uh, give, uh, occupational uh, certification to their members and we teach them for uh, job security, environment security, health security and give international uh, uh, certificate working in Turkey, working out of Turkey and so that uh, day by day or, or target all uh, forestry villager must have like a, uh, in uh, United States and some countries they have a, is uh, some uh, uh, lumber uh, associations, uh, uh, forestry worker association, like uh, Poland they have, but we have a cooperative practice and uh, we like to, uh, is uh, all workers uh, must be under digital uh, data and uh, they must learn everything and uh, we can coordinate uh, in the country forestry worker uh, uh, programs. And uh, we take care about the certification and so that uh, is government side uh, support us about the subject. And in Turkey right now is if anybody work in forest must get a, a, a certification from the ORCOP. And mm -hmm. other hand is um, a forestry uh, villager I told is uh, income is not enough and uh, very poor uh, uh, and so that uh, uh, sometimes is cooperative, uh, give uh, food, give health, uh, uh, health needs. For example, COVID-19 problem also, we support them. And right now in, uh, in Turkey, in the forestry works uh, gone, circulation works gone. And so that uh, all cooperatives uh, and uh, have uh, professional people, forestry engineer and others all, uh, uh, professional uh, uh, inspect the inspectors and so that uh, they help to uh, uh, or uh, cooperatives and uh, we uh, work and we produce forestry products in Turkey right now. Um, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> in Turkey is uh, maybe is uh, 
we are a, a kind of worker cops because uh, Turkey is, uh, you know, that have many problems in cooperative movement. But in uh, forestry cooperatives, uh, is very active cops because they are labor, they are working, they are producing, and uh, they have a connection. Also, a, a different story. Uh, all uh, villagers, uh, men and women working together in the forest. Right now, uh, we give uh, we give certification to many forestry workers, uh, forestry women worker in Turkey. It's a very different, a very good story also about for Turkey and for the world. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we should talk after this interview in Albay. We do have at ILO uh, a new tool for um, occupational safety and health promotion in cooperatives uh, that is applicable not only uh, to agriculture, but as you said, uh, forestry and uh, others. So it would be great to uh, join forces with you on that. You are, uh, yeah. Please go ahead. I must say that about the subject is very important. This hmm. why uh, Orcop started uh, giving certification because hmm. in Turkey right now a dangerous job uh, list hmm. uh, is first miners, second forestry work. Forestry workers. Yeah. Uh, maybe a forestry cooperative is lucky because government give support uh, to a dangerous job. Firstly. And mm. uh, okay, uh, right now is uh, there is is agriculture works uh, is a, a certification program uh, and uh, occupational certification. But is mm. uh, one side is uh, uh, in the in the world uh, for, uh, timber business needs certification, and mm. in this uh, legislation in the world, uh, uh, your uh, worker must be have uh, must have is. Uh, certification, international certification. For that reason, Turkish forestry uh, organization uh, and other professional uh, organizations say that is, uh, for, uh, we must uh, give certification in the forest side and uh, the ORCOP work about the subject and get uh, uh, international uh, and national uh, standards uh, uh, advantage for giving uh, certification with this period very very uh, is important and uh, uh, inspect every time because you know mm. not easy it must be free and must be uh, support to uh, countries data system yep. mm. thank you thank you for that Welcome. further explanation um, you referred to the cooperative uh, the challenges facing the cooperatives in uh, turkey uh, could you uh, elaborate a little bit about the state of the cooperative ecosystem now in Turkey, whether this is from the legislation side, uh, support institutions, financing you also uh, alluded to uh, with respect to the different uh, emerging also uh, initiatives? Uh, please. Yep. Um... Unfortunately, uh, in Turkey, uh, social and economic policies, uh, policies uh, uh, implemented in uh, so far have not been able to produce adequate solution to the problems. Problems remain in agriculture and in many sectors. Government and private sector invest are not enough to produce pollution for solving problems. Uh, the need for public support and solidarity is growing day by day. Increasing uh, interest in cooperatives in global level, uh, in uh, global level, the United Nations Declaration of 2012, uh, as a uh, year of the international cooperative also, had a positive impact on our country. Developments in the cooperatives in the world have started to be monitored from the internet with the global communication technology. Mm -hmm. Even some people from the business community who were uh, once again uh, cooperatives have begun to see cooperatives as most important model for solution. There were previously agriculture housing, consumption cooperatives in Turkey, now new 
cooperative have start to be established uh, in uh, every sector. In recent year, many uh, cooperatives such as women cooperatives, youth cooperatives, education cooperatives, energy cooperatives, and social cooperatives have been established, especially ministries, universities, and related organizations have started to give more place to cooperative training and project. Interesting programs such as cooperative train and cooperative paths, which conduct educational and promotional activities serving every region throughout the country have been made. The work, uh, the work of uh, International Cooperative Alliance has begun to closely monitor our needs. And now there are a more educated, highly quality and responsive, responsive academics, staff and communities in cooperatives in Turkey. Programs supporting cooperatives begin to increase. Demands for legislation related to the cooperatives have begun to increase. Importance of the APEX organization of cooperative uh, has begun to be seen. According to law in Turkey, three ministers are working on cooperatives. Today, the legal APEX organization of all cooperatives in the country is National Cooperative Union of Turkey, also NUKUT, short name, represent the cooperatives and nationally and internationally. Yeah. Thank you uh, for that. You referred to some of the um, uh, younger generation, but uh, people with uh, also new skill sets uh, joining uh, the cooperative movement in Turkey. And uh, you referred to uh, women, uh, youth, uh, also people with disabilities <coughs> and uh, cooperatives that are uh, in support of them. So. Uh, so a new generation of uh, cooperatives are uh, emerging in uh, in Turkey, and in fact, maybe we could say it's not just uh, interest, uh, growing interest in uh, cooperatives, but the wider um, social and solidarity economy uh, yes. in the in the country. Uh, what? How do you see? What are the reasons for this growing? Uh, um, uh, growth in new generation of cooperatives and this uh, growing interest in uh, social and uh, solidarity economy in Turkey. First reason uh, for growing interest in new generation cooperatives in Turkey and wider social and solidarity economy are growing economics and social prob uh, problems in Turkey. The other reason is developments in the cooperative movement around the world. These uh, developments uh, are reflect in our country. Also, uh, thank is uh, thank you. Also, thanks ILO because you know the uh, new generation cops and uh, and women cops and social cops. Uh, you give more support and uh, uh, is new uh, uh, friends, younger friends uh, uh, speak many language, many uh, good friends working about right now in uh, Turkey about the cooperative movement. Also, this gives more opportunity to us. Unfortunately, other cops, they, maybe they are big cops, they don't have this uh, human resource like that. And maybe they are small, seeming small, but is, uh, uh, all uh, members is very big because they speak wonderful language, they uh, high educated, they know, and they have a uh, connection with uh, international organization. Also, is women cops day by day is growing. Okay, in women cops we have some problem, but it's uh, it's for future uh, really uh, uh, they have a big potential and uh, very active uh, women leaders we have younger professionals we have and so that I'm very hopeful uh, for mm -hmm. women cops and uh, disability uh, people cops and younger cops uh, for Turkey and that they we they give support to. Uh, younger cops uh, activities uh, is ICA side too. And um, uh, cooperatives also uh, are seen as model for solving many problems in our country, uh, such as increasing unemployment, lack of the livelihood, health problems, barriers, social service, 
inequate uh, for disadvantaged group, increasing energy needs, so on. And the other hand, development of transportation and communication technology in the world, increase of internet communication application, increase the sharing of knowledge and experience related uh, uh, to cooperatives. The work or recommendation of the ICA and uh, organization affiliated to uh, UN, uh, especially the ILO, have begun to closely monitor. Uh, and in the recent years, uh, those who were interested in cooperatives have started uh, to reach and follow the development in the world uh, with power developing technology while waiting for everything from the state. Mm. The information resource in cooperatives have researched uh, uh, international level outside national borders. Yod, Energy, Women, and other social cooperatives have reached a, a level then, uh, that closely follows the war in international contacts. Also, uh, right now is you know, all uh, new uh, cooperatives follow uh, international uh, uh, activities. And uh, maybe we must, uh, thanks to social media about the subject, because you know, mm -hmm. everybody follow the social media, media and they, uh, English speaker and maybe other language speaker, and said that uh, they know what's going on. And uh, Elizabeth, I'm happy I use uh, social media and I uh, see many uh, activities all over the world and they follow them and uh, they follow uh, what's going on in, uh, in uh, all over the world. And so that uh, maybe it's a big problem for uh, in Turkey side because uh, all government uh, organization uh, must take care of to this kind of uh, uh, growing all over the world and they must take care of to this young uh, generation, uh, women and these groups activities. And many times I uh, speak to other cooperators mostly in big co-ops all over the world, a little bit uh, uh, hesitate to uh, small co-ops and younger co-ops, uh, but it's, uh, this uh, habit uh, all over the world, same. I wish that is uh, big co-ops must support uh, younger co-ops, small co-ops for future of the world. Hmm. And this yep. is very much in line what you said uh, yes. with the uh, principle six uh, of uh, cooperative uh, principles and cooperation yeah. among cooperatives. Yes, uh, yes. The big uh, and older and more established uh, yes. supporting and helping and uh, making, paving the way, way uh, for the younger, the new uh, generation uh, of uh, cooperatives About, and cooperatives. Yes. But it is, uh, we must understand that uh, is. Uh, in the uh, uh, growing industry, growing a city, bring many problems all over the world. Mm. Right now, we live in big city. Right now, mm. we need uh, many social uh, needs also. Uh, mm. uh, Younger people have problem, uh, disability people have problem. Mm -hmm. I understand the government, uh, only government resource, not enough to uh, mm. support everything. Municipality, yeah. uh, difficult to support mm. all, uh, but mm. uh, people uh, is, uh, um, uh, come to, uh, together uh, and solidarity and uh, is cooperative uh, to each other mm. and so that uh, they can support government work too because right mm. now uh, all over the world uh, is important things. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, finished all resource, financial, environment, um, environmental and so that uh, or they know that they need uh, people support. And so that uh, it's a very important feature of the war because uh, people uh, if give support to government side, municipality, and uh, we can solve problem in the short time. And, uh, and this collaboration bring more opportunity all community mm -hmm. for future. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Community-based action in partnership with local government uh, uh, and to be recognized, of course, as partners uh, in uh, responding to social economic needs of the cities and the local areas. This is indeed a, a critical uh, issue. Uh, 
of our times. Uh, you mentioned several times, referred to, to uh, ILO several times. Um, and we have asked uh, all our ILO Co-op 100 interviewees, what did they think was the role of ILO for, with respect to uh, cooperative uh, development and uh, cooperative movement? Uh, you mentioned uh, knowledge sharing, social media, and uh, communication uh, as one of the streams. If you would care to elaborate on that. Uh, the ILO works is very important to the world cooperative movement. It's 100 years also is very important, but features uh, most important because uh, uh, global problems increasing and uh, we need uh, ILO support too much and ILO is very important because ILO uh, is uh, have relation with government side very strongly and so that uh, easy to solve problem uh, ILO uh, uh, focus because ILO uh, uh, give advice to governments uh, work with uh, governments and follow all activities uh, cooperative uh, movement uh, side and uh, is your support is very important uh, the, and feature. ILO strives to improve, to deliver respect to human rights, respectable living standards, humane working condition, employment opportunities, and uh, economic guarantees, which are the main element of social justice to all of uh, employees. Because uh, in Turkey right now, uh, not only in Turkey, around to Turkey, uh, there is many problems. Uh, human rights problem and justice problem also. And uh, uh, for all of problem, uh, you care all of them, you work uh, about this subject, is, uh, your work is very important for cooperative movement because cooperatives is, uh, is mentality, cooperative is a rule, cooperative is value, cooperative is care of humanity because uh, uh, every time cooperator take care of uh, environment, take care of the uh, human. Because uh, if a uh, human uh, uh, come together, uh, cooperative is grow and uh, mm -hmm. work to feature. If environment is healthy, is uh, uh, cooperative can grow because cooperative mm -hmm. don't move on the side of country, other side of uh, the world. And local uh, support, local powers, local works, and local support to their members. ILO contributes greatly determine, determining state policies related to cooperatives, which are, are one of the most important elements of the registered economy. ILO COPs support for co cooperative employment for women, young people, and mostly is this century is immigrants, uh, where the principle of values of cooperatives are at the front of its most meaningful work of the, the 21st century. Is 21st century is have full of problem and uh, ILO COP uh, and ILO is uh, really is very important for us, for cooperative movement, for uh, humanity, uh, because you know, uh, uh, around the, uh, in Turkey and around the Turkey, immigrant problem is very big problem. And uh, very, uh, it's a sad story, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay, many countries is, is uh, seeming like a support uh, immigrants. Unfortunately, uh, these people is uh, have um, uh, uh, for future is not clear uh, about uh, what happened in future. And so that a uh, cooperative movement can uh, hug all, uh, uh, all people because, you know, immigrant people is alone and cooperatives mm -hmm. Uh, make a uh, friendship uh, and make like a, a, a contact to all, uh, uh, for example, in Turkey, in other countries, the uh, cooperative members and immigrants come together. Also, immigrants must be is cooperative members and uh, easy to connection and social life the feature. And mm -hmm. uh, cooperative, uh, or ILA co Cops approach to solving refugee problem in Europe right now, which reveal of uh, how important the social aspects of uh, cooperatives uh, is to humanity has given state to cooperative movement. And so that uh, uh, thanks to ILO, 
we need uh, ILO in future is very, very much because uh, we have many such story right now all over the world. Mm. The commonality of uh, the values, I think, uh, is an important point you made. The ILO has uh, a human-centered approach to the challenges uh, facing us uh, in this future, future of work. And the uh, cooperative uh, movement, of course, has uh, this uh, human-centered uh, business, uh, both uh, yes. taking care of the economic and social aspects. Um, and you noted the forced displacement, refugee and immigration context. Uh, indeed, uh, the ILO has been uh, working uh, on this front, especially uh, more recently in Arab states and uh, East Africa as well. And uh, you mentioned there are good examples, especially from social cooperatives in Europe in uh, working with local governments and supporting uh, forcibly displaced populations. So we thank you for highlighting that. Um, you mentioned COVID uh, briefly and how uh, in the context of the future, to change the challenges we are facing, the global pandemic, climate change, forced displacement, uh, what do you think is the role that cooperatives uh, and wider social and solidarity economy organizations have to pay, uh, play? Uh, um, if you care to give some of the examples from uh, COVID-19 response, uh, that would also be welcome. Thank you. Today, uh, we all know that uh, overcoming global problems in our region and around the world is possible to with social and economic solidarity. The global COVID-19 uh, pandemic process in which we live today has shown us how important solidarity is. During this period, the service of cooperatives in agriculture production, health, social service, and in many areas within the social responsibility for their partners and people in the, in the region in which they are located made a great contribution to overcoming the problems. Cooperatives have shown solidarity both nationally, nationally and internationally. Cooperatives have worked or uh, uh, work out their responsibilities to their partners and their environments. They uh, acted uh, not uh, the, with economic expectation, uh, but uh, with social responsibility. During the pandemic process, uh, they provide a largely unrequited, uh, unrequited the, uh, service in the field of the cleaning products, uh, the disinfectants, masks, um, emergency medical supplies, and food aid to protect against the pandemic. Uh, cooperatives have become the most important actors of the food and health uh, assures around them. Cooperatives have uh, gained the trust uh, and support the community uh, against, uh, uh, against the possible food crisis, their uh, service. And um, cooperatives also uh, is uh, uh, a kind of uh, solidarity for human. And solidarity is, doesn't care about the race, doesn't care of uh, sex, and uh, everybody support to each other. Also, if I talk about the international level, uh, right now ICA, COP Europe, is working is about the subject, uh, about the COVID-19 problem. Mostly is Italy, also Italian cooperatives did a wonderful job because, you know, uh, they uh, help the people and they have good organization about the social cooperatives. And in this century is maybe, okay, everybody talk. Cooperatives is social and economic organization, but the, uh, this century is uh, cooperatives movement show that uh, is social phase is very important cooperative uh, uh, movement. Right now uh, is uh, everybody uh, wish to help and cooperatives uh, support all people. Government in also also in Turkey is uh, about a food crisis sometimes. Cooperatives help the government side, and uh, many, uh, maybe uh, small co-ops, but many, many women co-ops 
produce masks and some uh, medical supplies for uh, uh, people. And uh, in Europe side, in, uh, for example, in India also, in IFCO cooperatives, and uh, in Japan, in Korea, all over the world, they support the government, sometimes cooperative internationally uh, have a relation about the subject. And so that uh, cooperatives uh, thinks human, cooperative support to people, and uh, in future, uh, because many years ago we are uh, talking about cooperative is, uh, firstly is uh, economic organization, but this century is, there is a different mentality. Cooperative, uh, firstly is social organization, secondly economic organization, because uh, we work for people, we work for uh, our environment, and so that uh, we must take care of the around of uh, people. The COVID-19 uh, is uh, bring positive uh, mentality right now all over the world, and is solidarity between cooperatives is very important. We must think about the people and cooperatives is don't think money firstly. Must think firstly is their partners and and humanity. It's that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Unal Bey, for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, uh, we appreciate your time and uh, contribution to this ILO COP 100 Thank you. interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Till we meet again. Thank Teşekkürler. you.